Hi guys, welcome to my channel Sushruta. Today our topic is on properties and applications or significance of acetoacetic ester. First, let us discuss about the properties. In the previous video, we have discussed about the preparation of acetoacetic ester. If you want, you can see that. And after that, in this video, we are discussing about the properties and significance of acetoacetic ester. First, let's begin with the properties. In the properties, there are mainly four types of reactions. One is reaction with ketoform. Second one is reaction involving enol form. And third one is active methyl form. And fourth one is hydrolysis reaction. First, reaction involving keto group. This is the keto form of acetoacetic ester. As we have seen in the previous video, the presence of keto group indicates it has the keto form of acetoacetic ester this acetoacetic ester in the presence of sodium amalgam as it is a reducing agent number of hydrogens can be added to the reactant so here the bond shift occurs and the oxygen converts into O minus here if the bond shift occurs negative charge occurs and then as it is a reducing agent H plus ions are added to it so at the O ne minus negative charge H plus ion will be added and this is named as beta hydroxy acetoacetic ester because see as this is the functional group ester group and the carbon attached to the functional group is alpha carbon and next to that is beta carbon so on the beta carbon we have OH hydroxy group so beta hydroxy acetoacetic ester next reaction involving enolic group in the enolic group we'll have three to four reactions first let's discuss them reaction with grignard reagent grignard reagent means rmgx as we all are aware of it first this is the enol form of acetoacetic ester c as the presence of double bond en plus oh alcohol group it is enol enol form of acetoacetic ester reacts with grignard reagent rmgx in the place of r i have taken methyl group and in the place of x i have taken iodine how it divides ch3 minus and mgi plus it is dissociated into ch3 minus and mgi plus as the Grignard reagent dissociation is different, it is divided in this way. Next. Now, the negative charge. And this is the positive charge. Here, the bond present between oxygen and hydrogen cleaves. And O gets negative charge and H is released as H plus ion. In the place of H plus, MGI plus got replaced there. So only MGI is replaced in place of H plus hydrogen. So this is named as magnesium salts of acetoacetic ester. As the presence of magnesium salts on the acetoacetic ester, it is named as such. And along with that, CH3 minus forms the bond with released H plus ion and it forms as methane. It will be released in gas form methane gas it is a greenhouse gas even next reaction with sodium metal it also involves the enol form of acetoacetic ester see this is the enol form of acetoacetic ester and it reacts with sodium metal just here as like before the hydrogen is replaced by sodium metal and the formed product is sodium salts of acetoacetic ester in the place of hydrogen only the sodium gets replaced and this is known as sodium salts of acetoacetic ester next reaction with ammonia ammonia means NH3 we all know it here this is also the enolic form of acetoacetic ester and it reacts with NH3 see here it is clearly mentioned with the hydrogens to take off your confusion the OH group present at enol form of acetoacetic ester and the hydrogen present in NH3 
see this is h2 and the hydrogen they both removes as h2o they both combines and removes as h2o so here oh minus group is moved and here positive charge at this carbon and here negative charge the positive and negative combinedly forms a bond here c here nh2 amino group is attached at this carbon the keto initially oh group is attached and now as the h2o is released in that place amino group is attached so this is named as beta amino acetoacetic ester see again the same as this is the functional group next to the functional group alpha carbon and next to the alpha carbon this is beta carbon on the beta carbon amino group is present so it is named as beta amino acetoacetic ester here we complete the reaction involving enol groups and now the reaction involving methylene group it is active methylene group that means c the ch2 group is active methylene group e, uh, this is ketone form of acetoacetic ester and this on reaction with sodium ethoxide c2h5ona is known as sodium ethoxide here it is cleaved as o minus and na plus when this hydrogen is cleaved it will be released as h plus and here negative charges developed so the positive sodium ion comes and gets attached here in the place of this hydrogen and this h reacts with c2h5o minus and will be released as ethyl alcohol c this sodium is attached at the active methylene group and so this is known as mono sodium acetoacetic ester a a means it's simple form of acetoacetic ester and one mole of c2h5oh ethyl alcohol is released along with it and it again on reaction with another mole of sodium ethoxide it gives two moles of sodium i mean sorry two sodiums on the active methylene group so disodium acetoacetic ester is formed and another mole of c2h5oh is released this is ethyl alcohol c2h5oh means ethyl alcohol and c2h5ona means sodium ethoxide remember reactants and the reagents are very important so the formed product is disodium acetoacetic ester next this is also keto form of acetoacetic ester but it is sodium salts of acetoacetic ester see here a sodium is attached at active methylene site when this sodium is cleaved it will be released as na plus and this active methylene carbon will have negative charge and it reacts with methyl iodide it is cleaved as ch3 plus and i minus so na plus and i minus reacts and releases as sodium iodide and this ch3 plus attacks at active methylene site which has a negative charge a negative and positive charge combines to form i mean a bond form here so this is monomethyl form of acetoacetic ester see here at active methylene site a methyl group got attached which is cleaved from this methyl iodide and a mole of sodium iodide is even released next when disodium acetoacetic ester is reacted with two moles of methyl iodide why we have taken two moles because here two sodiums are present disodium right so two moles of methyl iodide is taken and two moles of nai is released as like the before process and in the in the place of two sodium ions two methyl groups gets attached see here this is dimethyl form of acetoacetic ester along with that two moles of sodium iodide is released the final of properties hydrolysis reaction this hydrolysis reaction is seen in two different ways Hi first of all what is hydrolysis hydrolysis lysis means breakdown the breakdown of water molecule is hydrolysis reaction okay let's see two types of hydrolysis reaction here 
acidic hydrolysis and ketonic hydrolysis will be taking place. First, in the acidic hydrolysis, the acetoacetic ester is taken, that is in the ketone form, and it reacts with the base like concentrated NaOH or KOH, that's your wish. Any, it reacts with any one kind of base. Hydrolysis means number of water molecules break down and attaches in the molecule. So here, it is just for your understanding. You don't need to write like this in your exams. Okay. C double bond O plus and here OH minus gets attached and here H plus CO OH and C2 H5 OH. Two water molecules are used here. C. So two molecules of H2 acetic acid CH3 COOH here CH3 COOH and one molecule of ethyl alcohol two molecules of acetic acid C CH3 COOH it is the formula of acetic acid and C2H5OH means ethyl alcohol as it is a general product I haven't written the name you just remember next ketonic hydrolysis in ketonic hydrolysis C first when the hydrolysis is done exactly the bond breakage occurs at the ester group C at here the bond cleavage occurs so H plus OH minus here the H plus will get attached and here OH minus so CH3 C double bond O CH2 CO OH the ester group converts into acid group remember the when hydrolysis takes place ester converts into acid it is a clue for you so CH3 C double bond O CH2 COOH acetoacetic acid is formed along with that C2H5OH here I have forgotten to return the cleavage here H plus and here OH minus so forms as acetoacetic acid and a mole of ethyl alcohol next when we react acetoacetic ester and on vigorous heating it forms three products first on heating co2 will be released while heating an ester co2 will be released see here first if co2 is released then here the bond breakage occurs single mole of water molecule is used here here c2 h5 plus and ch2 minus at the place of minus h plus ions get att attached and at the place of C2H5 plus OH minus comes and attaches. So it forms CH3 C double bond O CH3. That means it is a ketone. It is acetone. It is named as acetone. Wait, let me write it for you. Acetone and a mole of CO2 is released, and along with that, C2H5 OH. A mole of ethyl alcohol is even released. Next, applications of acetoacetic ester. This will not be much. See, first, dicarboxylic acids. Here, a mole of sodium salts of acetoacetic ester is taken. Along with that, chloroethyl acetate is taken. Chloroethyl acetate. Sodium and chlorine of this combines and they removes as my NaCl. They are eliminated as NaCl and the bond exactly forms here so C at the place of CH active methylene group the CH2 got attached and this here we see ester groups to convert into acid we have to do hydrolysis so on hydrolysis at particular sites the bond cleavage occurs and C here CH3COOH it is acetic acid and here another bond cleavage occurs so CH2COOH, CH2COOH, it is succinic acid plus C2H5OH. As it is a succinic acid preparation even, it is even considered as a preparation of succinic acid. It can be even asked as write the preparation of succinic acid. Just remember it is important. And even this preparation of adipic acid, it is even important. Here. The same, 2 moles of sodium salts of acetoacetic ester is taken and 1 mole of diiodoethane is taken, see here, 
CH2, CH2, I, I. So this is diiodoethane. Here the sodium and iodine reacts and they will be cleaved as 2 moles of sodium iodide. Here the bond here the bond making occurs. So it will be formed as CH3, CO, CH0 and this CH2, CH2 group attaches here. At particular positions as like in the previous one the bond cleavage occurs and it forms on hydrolysis adipic acid is formed first of all CH, COH, CH2, CH2, CH and other hydrogens so CH2, COH. This is the formula of adipic acid. It can be even asked as preparation of adipic acid and two moles of acetic acid is formed. See here CH3, COH and CH3, COH is formed and two moles of ethyl alcohol is even formed here. This is not only applications of H2 acetic ester and they can be even asked as preparations of succinic and adipic acids. Just remember. Next, monocarbolic, monocarboxylic acid. Here, the ketone form of H2 acetic ester on hydrolysis form, ester on hydrolysis forms acid. So here, at particular positions, here and here, the bond cleavage occurs. So CH3COOH and CH3COOH, two moles of acetic acid along with a single mole of ethyl alcohol is formed. Next, alpha beta unsaturated acids. Here, acetaldehyde reacts with, this is also the acetoacetic ester, ketone form. But till now we have seen it in this position, this position, now we are seeing it in this position. Just assume, see the chemical formula is same. For the better understanding of reaction I have written in this way. Acetaldehyde reacts with acetoacetic ester. So here again H2O will be eliminated and the bond forms here, see. At particular positions the cleavage occurs and this on hydrolysis form acids. See CH3, CH double bond, CH, COOH. This is the chemical formula of crotonic acid. Crotonic acid. Remember carefully. And here C2H5OH, a mole of ethyl alcohol along with CH3, COOH, acetic acid. Alpha beta unsaturated acid means here the functional group this is the alpha carbon and this is the beta carbon the unsaturation unsaturated means either double bond or triple bond the unsaturation lies in between alpha and beta carbons so hence it is known as alpha beta unsaturated acid crotonic acid is an alpha beta unsaturated acid next reaction with urea the urea formula is NH2C double bond O NH2 at the same enol form of acetoacetic ester is taken here and it reacts with urea this is urea this is even in standing positions for your better understanding one mole of c2h5oh ethyl alcohol and one mole of water will be eliminated and then here and here bonding occurs to form 4 methyl uracil this is a compound known as 4 methyl uracil that's it for today guys if you like my video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel Sushruta. Thank you guys. Bye bye guys. Meet you in the next video.